What's happening everybody, the Poets here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Today's video is just a quick unboxing of this behemoth. It's the Thrustmaster Warthog. It's a HOTUS, hands-on throttle and stick. So we're just gonna get right into it because I don't know too much about this except the fact that it is a nice upgrade from what I have been using, which is the Logitech X52 Pro. I got the X52 Pro when uh, the whole pandemic thing was starting. Uh, I was lucky to find it. It was like one of the last ones around, but this is considered a substantial, look, I'm tearing it already. Subst oh, it's substantial, no wonder. Yeah, substantial upgrade. So I'm guessing that's, oh man, it's, it's heavier than I thought. Okay, all right. So I play games like Star Citizen. I used to play Elite Dangerous. So basically Space Sims. Uh, I did dabble with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 when that came out uh, just for like a week and uh, liked it, but weren't enough people shooting at me. Uh, yeah, this is, this is serious. So the Logitech X52 Pro uh, felt comfortable in hand. This feels like it belongs with the Air Force. It's incredibly heavy and robust. Oh my God. Okay. So it is a uh, old school USB, right? Kind of figure that. Uh, this is, let's just take a look at that. That's, that's serious. So it does have for one padding on the bottom, which is nice. So on this type of like wooden Ikea table material, it's not going anywhere. This thing is so freaking heavy. It's like a 15 pound dumbbell. Ooh, that feels good. That, this, this is satisfying. Okay. And so it has controllers here. Um, so some people like HOTAS, hands on throttle and stick, which is what this is. I still have to open this part. And some people like dual sticks, host has, hands on stick on stick. I'm not a fan of host has, I'm a fan of this. I like that satisfaction of, you know, pushing forward the throttle, pulling back. Man, this is nice. Assembly instructions, comes with a full book. And here we go. So this comes in pieces, apparently. Oh. All right, so this handle has weight to it. This feels like you're doing something. That, this is, you could work out with this. I, I'm not even joking, this is nice. So it's got some of the controls here. Trigger, oh, that's satisfying. I didn't know what I was missing. I didn't know what I was missing. Oh, it's got the nice little pinky trigger right here too. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun with this. So this is the base, base, base. And uh, it's, it's large. Holy cow, is it large? But I guess that makes sense because when you're flying around uh, trying to get behind people in space, you want this to not tip over. And this is so wide and so far forward, that's not going anywhere. And this is also old school USB. All right, cool. Not bad. Wow. So this feels like I'm actually doing something. This is very tough, solid, and I feel like I could be very precise with this as well, which is what you want in a flight sim or a space shooter. Uh, ooh, satisfying. Let's see here, how do these work? Oh, they snap. Yes, please. Thank you. That's nice. Engage. And uh, so if you have dual engine type of flight for a flight simulator, that's gonna be cool for you. Um, I don't have to deal with that for a space sim. So I'm sure there's some way to just kind of connect these together. But yeah, this is gonna be nice. All right, so as this is just an unboxing and first impression, my first impression is one, this stick is very fluid and somewhat stiff. Like I can feel that magnetism that's in here. It's got like a magnetic base. Uh, at least that's what it says on the box right here. You can kind of feel that. And you know that this is gonna last a long time because of that. 
and I could probably drop this out of a two-story window <laughs> and the ground would break. This right here is nice and smooth as well, very satisfying, and I love the placement of all of the buttons uh, right here, especially like the middle finger one here, that's very satisfying. Um, so it's gonna be nice and easy to strafe in a game because that's the difference between hands-on throttle and stick and hands-on stick on stick, where hands-on stick on stick, you can like do all your strafing and stuff, having dual sticks, but you miss that with the throttle. But this is very satisfying, you know, to push all that power into it, pull it in reverse or whatever you have your setup as, and then plus having all of these buttons right available for your thumbs, your index finger, middle finger, pinky, little switch here for the pinky as well. You'll be able to do everything on the go and all of these switches right here are just so satisfying. You know, turn on your headlights or landing gear, um, VTOL, uh, whatever game you're playing, you know, obviously. So I'm liking this first impression, but I'm definitely gonna do a long-term review well, let's do like a two week review at least so I can get all my king key bindings set. And there are actually plates that um, I guess like third parties are doing to make it so that this actually is correctly labeled for Star Citizen as well, which is pretty darn cool. And those are nice and cheap too. So you just plop it right down and boom, you have all your labels for how you want your key binds. The grip here is absolutely perfect. Great for the pinky finger. Thumbs have access to everything very comfortably and you're never going to miss hit a certain one. And this trigger is absolutely satisfying. I've always enjoyed the process of setting up controllers with like Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, because you really get to customize all your key bindings and stuff exactly how you like it for your own personal preference. This will take me probably like an hour to set up exactly the way I want. But a game like Star Citizen already has like presets for a lot of different HOSAS, HOTAS, and so you can use those presets and then kind of just build from there, customize it the way that you want. So definitely stay tuned for my full actual review. I want to spend a couple of weeks on this and uh, give you my thoughts. Is it worth the money? Because this is three times more expensive than the Logitech X52 Pro that I've been using for the last couple of years. And uh, those have held up exceptionally well. This is just next level. So depends on uh, how into your space sims you are or flight sims. So uh, wait for my full review. So like and subscribe, and I'll get to you guys in the next one. Peace.